Hey folks, I'm here with my LG washing machine and just recently it started giving me this IE code. This IE code indicates that the washer is not getting enough water to it. So what I did was I tried doing a wash a load on just hot and the hot water poured through here. But if I do a load on warm or cold, it doesn't work. In fact, I just did one on cold and the water only trickled out. So it appears that the problem is with the cold water line. First thing I'm going to do is get myself access to the back here where the water lines are. I can see that the, the, the cold water is on. So that's, it's not that the, it's not that it's not turned on. So I'm going to look for any kinks in the lines. There are no kinks in the, the water line. That could be a reason if it, something was pinched. I'm going to turn the water off and then take it off of the back of the washer and squirt it into a bucket and see if I'm getting good pressure there. So the water's off. My channel lock pliers here to disconnect the water or to loosen it up here. <clears throat> now I've got my bucket here and I've got the cold water line disconnected. I'm going to turn it back on and see if I do have good water pressure. Uh, coming into the washer. That's so I know that the water to the washer has plenty of good pressure, so something is clogged on the, the washer side. And let's take a look here at the back. All right, I just used my screwdriver and a little tab on it broke, so let's see if I can just pull it out this way. Come on, baby. There we go. Holy smokes. Pretty obviously this is the culprit coated with mud. You may not have dirt in yours. Yours may be calcium. Soak it in vinegar for a few minutes till that comes off. You can scrub it off with a scrub brush or a toothbrush. Uh, but let's make sure I'm going to turn off the hot water. Make sure I don't make a mess. And then uh, do the same thing. And uh, the hot water one is exposed. Pull this out so they don't break it. Yeah, that one looks perfect. So I'm just gonna put that one back in. Get, get the cleaned one for the cold water, put it back in and try this out. All right, now I'm going to turn the water on make sure I don't have any leaks there. No drips. We're good there. Let's try it out. Everything's back together like it should be. I'm going to test it out. Like I said, the warm water worked fine before. It was the cold water. And the cold water just trickled out slower than a water fountain would trickle out. So I'm going to try this. All right, that looks a lot better. That's what it's supposed to look like. It's that easy. I hope that was helpful. Subscribe if it was, and thanks for watching.